Hello everyone, this is uh, John from Titanic Games. Today we will be showing you how to make a, um, a snowman. We will be showing you how to make your first fun little thingamabob out of the, um, the techniques that you have currently learned so far. Um, these are only using the basic techniques that we have gone over and the previous tutorials sprinkling in some new stuff but still keeping it very basic so a lot of you more experienced blender users will probably be like throwing your keyboard around saying why aren't you using any modifiers why aren't you blah blah blah, blah. um we're trying to go in baby steps right now for this is a, a bottom-up kind of tutorial so baby steps for everyone at home so if it seems like it, this can be done in a much easier much faster way but we have to make sure we understand all the core concepts first. So today we will be making a snowman, in case I haven't already mentioned that. So first what we want to do is you want to delete your cube in the middle. That is either with the delete button or with the X button. Now you want to add a mesh. So that's either clicking the add button and then rolling over mesh. Or there's a shortcut for this. Shift A and then roll over mesh and go down to UV sphere. Now using the middle mouse button hold it down and just move around scale with S, scale it up or down. Now this is going to be the base of our snowman. See where you like it. Now this next part is important. This is the 3D cursor. The 3D cursor is where objects spawn when you add a new one. So if we are, were to move our 3D cursor over here, we could add mesh UV sphere, and now it's over here. This is useful in a lot of ways because if we were to, this is where you set your 3D cursor location in this tab. The 3D cursor is useful for moving because if you were to set the location back to zero zero and then add another one you can't see it because it's inside the other one so delete um, what we can do however is if we add mesh UV sphere keep it selected don't click on anything else just move your camera down hold on to the blue arrow and bring it up That way, since we didn't move the 3D cursor anywhere, it's still staying 0, 0 on the XY axis, and it, we only moved it up on the Z axis. In case you did accidentally move it somewhere, blah, 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 somewhere like that, you can just go into this, this panel, type in 0, 0, because we want the snowman to be consistent. We want the bodies to be consistently on top of each other, unless you want like some sort of lopsided snowman that's falling because you have really bad snow or something. I don't know. Um, so now let's scale this up, make the bodies, I don't know, something like that. So now let's add a third sphere, grab the blue arrow, bring it up. Now this is going to be the head. Bring it down a little bit. That looks good. Looks like a, like a cute little snowman, or at least the the shape of it, IBK. Um, what's next on a snowman? A snowman has arms, so at this point we can probably, uh, nah, let's leave the 3D cursor in the middle still. Um, let's add a mesh, add a cube. Now move it out of the middle, um, move it up. Now first of all, this is going to be the arms. You see the problem with this, right? This is not going to work to be an arm. So what we want to do is we want to scale it directionally or on an axis. You know what I mean. Scale, scale. First, so hit S for scale and then hit Z so that we're only scaling it on the Z axis. That way it gets really, really, really thin like a branch. We're trying to make this look like a branch. So now it looks good from this side, but if you look at it from this side, on the y-axis. Green is y. 
it's in case I haven't said this before I think I have but blue is Z uh, X is red and green is Y uh, on the green Y axis it's still too long to look like a stick it looks kinda like a floor tile or just like a regular square should have just started with regular square so S Y to scale it in now we've got a good looking stick so now let's see it's zero on the y-axis that's good because we don't we want it to we want it to be symmetrical we want it to be a good look unless you want to make a, a fancy looking snowman we can work on that stuff later but anyway so take it by the red the x-axis the red arrow and move it into the snowman and then pull it up with the blue arrow. Now snowmen don't look like this. They don't look all stiff and awkward like, oh I work in an office. So we want to rotate it. Now there's two ways to rotate, either with the R button or with this thing. Now you'll see it rotates on an axis at a time. So let me set that back to zero. Unless you just don't specify it, then it'll just go all wop the dee wop the dee. But um Imagine like the line, like imagine if this green line was going through that stick, that's the axis it's rotating on. So rotate on Y axis, let me get a better view for you. Rotate on Y axis, see, look, they even visualize it for you. So we want to rotate it up, make it look like the arms coming down, like he's actually got humanoid type arm thingies, and then just center it so it looks a little more realistic. So. Next, we're going to try a new technique that I have not, um, I don't think I've put in any of the previous videos. Uh, it's called duplicating. So what you do is you have your object selected. We don't want any of these. We want just this stick selected. And hit shift, hold shift, and then hit D. Now you will see that you've just got another thing moving around. So immediately immediately hit right click now the one you duplicated is right on top of the other one so take the red the red arrow the x-axis and move it across now this will get more complicated in the future like depending on how big of an object you duplicate or how complicated of an object you duplicated but for right now we just need to rotate it on the y-axis the other way so it looks neat now he's got two arms. Um, he needs some eyes, so instead of instead of spawning new objects, why don't we try out this new method we learned with uh, with the face? So what I just did right there is I took the head and I duplicated it and then I pulled it out. So and then I scale it down. Now we have one eye. Pull it over scale it down a little bit more um, uh, duplicate it oh no nothing uh, duplicate it and then move it over uh, make sure they look good you can use math with the location to make sure they all line up correctly um, see uh, what is that point negative point so let's just make that z negative 0 0.2 and let's make that 0 0.2 so because we've kept everything symmetrical so far they are now an even amount away from the x-axis um what does a snowman need it needs a mouth uh, should we make it a coal mouth? Should we make it a... I'm just experimenting for right now. <laughs> Looks like he's being choked or... Oh, no, it could be a cute little scarf, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, I'm going to delete the torus. And so then... So, right now we're going to add mesh torus. And you're going to pull it up. And just scale it in. And... 
So he's got that. And then add another mesh. Uh, cylinder. Let's go crazy, guys. Uh, um, so now we just want to make it longer on the Z axis. Um, rotate it on the X axis. Remember, imagine a little stick. And then the Z axis. And then just scale the entire thing down. And then where does the little scarf flap usually come out? It comes out at the back. So let's move this to the back. Uh, rotate. It'll rotate on the Z axis. Because. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh! <sighs> uh, snowmen have like three buttons going down their thing, right? Um, remember, right click after, what I just did was duplicate the eye, and then after that, uh, right click immediately. Um, and I can't see it, so pull it out. Uh, of with the y axis um, it's completely symmetrical we want it on the y axis so we don't want it moved anywhere out on the x axis so there zero on the x so that means it hasn't moved anywhere on the x axis um, if if the math portion of it doesn't make any sense at all pm me or something but hope it does because there's as you can see there's a lot of X and Y involved in something like this. Um, now we want to copy that again. Uh, right click, bring it down, bring it out, copy it again. If you don't remember, I'm using Shift D to copy. Uh, <laughs> the buttons look silly. Looks like he's really fat. We got a really fat snowman here. Um, yeah, I said we were going to make a mouth. Uh, we'll come back to that. Snowman need hats. Let's make him a hat. So, let's add a cube. Uh, move it all the way up to the top. Now, this is going to be just for the base part. So, scale just Z. That's good. And now add another one. Cylinder this time. Getting crazy. Oh, we used a cylinder already. We're not getting that crazy. And no, I didn't move it on the. Okay. Scale it. Just scale the entire thing a little bit. <laughs> Look at this thing. Okay, now the hat looks weird. Uh, scale down the hat. Scale down that hat. Um. Killing me. I want him to have a mouth, but nah, he looks good. Less is more, you know. Look at them. Oh my gosh, look at him. So, this has been how to make a snowman using simple methods, and also introducing the sh the duplicate method with Shift D. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If uh, I went too fast or if there was something you didn't understand, please feel free to ask or to comment. Uh, thank you and um, yeah.